Okay. Hi, everyone. <laughs> I think I've done that every single time I've visited when Ian knows. I'm not going <laughs> to. They're, yeah, they're, they're little heels. I turned them into boots today. Boots. Boots the house down. Boots the house down. Yes, pirate boots the house down. Is everyone here? Yeah? <laughs> I love your pi your parrot and your toucan. They're very cute. <laughs> very nice. Very nice. All right. Here we go. We're going to start reading time with the queens. Uh, without further ado, I'm going to sing the reading time with the queens theme song. Here we go. Take a stand, make a scene. It's reading time with the queens. No, just R. I know you've been hoping for reading time with the queens. The library's open for reading time with the queens. There's lots to know about the world today, so open the book, let's make our way. There's crafts to be making at reading time with the queens. There's songs to be singing at reading time with the queens. Today we'll learn that we each are a star. We'll spread kindness wherever we are. It's so much fun, but it's not a dream. It's reading time with the queens. Oh, hi! There we go. Woo! Woo! Better far to live and die Under the brave black flag I fly Than play a sanctimonious part With a pirate head and a pirate heart Away to the cheating world go you If I could play the chord Where pirates all are well to do Oh, geez. But I'll be true to the song I sing and introduce a pirate king. Mr. Nixon! <laughs> For he is the pirate king. And it is, it is a glorious thing to be a pirate king. Uh, he is the pirate king. It is, it is a glorious thing to be a pirate king. It is, hurrah for the pirate king, hurrah for the pirate king. <laughs> there we go, yay! Without further ado, give it up for Mr. Dixon. Oh, hi, my lady. How are we today? Good! Are you ready to go on a pirate adventure? Yeah. I am so ready to sail away in a wonderful world of books. Thank you, Ms. Kelly, for that wonderful introduction. Arr, arr. So we have Ms. Kelly. And we have Mr. Zay over here. He is deaf, and so his wonderful husband, Mr. Aaron, is going to be interpreting for us. And with interpretation, we're going to learn some new signs that go along with the books. What signs are we learning today? I think you should probably ask Mr. Zay. Mr. Zay. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> what? What signs are we learning today? Well, there's some important signs to learn today. Uh, pirate, of course, that's our theme. So pirate. She's going to cover one eye. Pirate. Pirate. Does it? Ooh, good question. Does it matter which eye? No. Awesome. We don't discriminate Just don't against do eyes. Don't do both. <laughs> well, what is the thing that eye. pirates go on? Um, like a boat? Boat? Bigger than that. Uh, oh. Like a yacht. <laughs> a a yacht. yacht. I don't know what pirate can afford a yacht. <laughs> Maybe. No? Okay. Uh, they're just called ships. Uh, ships. 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 There we go. There we go. Okay. So ship. So you're going to do three fingers. You're going to put it down. It's going to be a ship. And you can you can make it kind of bob up and down on the sea. Everyone do it with us so we can practice our signs. Yeah. yeah. Ship. Yeah. So three fingers. Do ship. There you go. Awesome. Okay. All right. What else? 
Oh, the craft today. What did you all make for your craft? A pirate sail. A pirate sail? Okay. Yeah, it was a it was a flag. Yes. So flag. Flag. Really, really simple. Flag. There you go. Flapping in the breeze. Can I wave can I wave like this? Or you can do flag. If it's if it if it's not very windy, just like it's dead in the sea. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And then, ooh. I know I like to go hunting for treasure. Yes. So treasure. treasure. Just like treasure. opening up a treasure chest. Ooh. Yes. Arr. 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 It's like opening a chest. Exactly. Treasure. Treasure. You could also do R, 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 but that's different. Uh -uh. Treasure. I do have a little joke for you, though. Okay. It's not even really pirate related. But why do birds fly south? I think maybe you would know because you're a pirate. But so. I don't know. Maybe because I ate it. No, because it's too far to walk. Oh, that is really far. <laughs> That's my joke for the day. Yay! Yay! Thank you. Thank you. Yes, thank you for helping with the signs. Yes, so we'll do review the signs. So pirate. 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 Ship. Ship. Flag. Flag. And treasure. 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 So what do we do with the signs? Why do we have the signs? Because they are very important parts in the book. And when those signs come up, you can sign along with us. Go, yeah. All right. All perfect. Practice makes perfect. And so we are going to have Miss Eris, Captain Eris, read our first book today. Okay. Awesome. Yes. Yay. All righty. Can I? Do, do you? Oh. I, I think probably me oh. because I'm not going to be talking. Okay. Perfect. That's true. I'll steal from you. There we go. Sorry. I just need to make sure everyone can hear me. Uh, okay. While you're doing that, I have yes. a question. What is a pirate's favorite exercise? Walking the plank. Well, it's actually it's actually called the plank. The yeah. plank. Just the plank. plank. <laughs> it's a yoga pose. No, no. It's the plank. Absolutely. The plank is yes. a pirate's favorite exercise. I yes. love that. Yes. Okay. And what is a pirate's favorite letter? What is a pirate's favorite letter? Oh, do you think you know? What is it? R? Good job! It's R, but it's actually the C. The C! <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. I like that, Thank Mr. Aaron. You. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to start off by reading our first book, but I'm going to need everyone to be very quiet so everyone in the room can hear me, okay? Awesome. Thank you. Okay. Our first book today is Pirate Princess. This is by Sudapia Bardhan Quallen. Illustrated by Jill McEl Murray. So, Pirate Princess. Okay. Princess B was not the kind of princess you'd expect. She wasn't proper or refined, her clothes not quite correct. She didn't like to dress in lace or silk or brocade or chintz, and especially she couldn't face a life wed to some prince. So here's Princess B right here. As you can see, she's not dressed in silk or chintz or anything nice. It looks like she's maybe wearing her undergarments. She's standing on her head and she's got her tea set up on her feet. So clearly not the typical princess. Can you read just a little slower? Yes, I can read slower. Just a little slower. Sorry. Brocade I get is hyped an interesting up. word, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Instead, she wished for other things, not fancy or frou-frou. No, Princess B felt pirating was just the thing to do. So pirate, yep, yeah, Princess B wants to be a pirate. But how on earth could Princess B track down a pirate crew? And though she dreamed of salt and sea, her dreams could not come true. So here she is dressed like a pirate. She's got her sword in hand and her buckle. 
She's sitting reading and dreaming of being a pirate, but she doesn't know how she can become one. So, until one day, Bee strolled the dock, and as she neared the slip, the sight she saw was quite a shock. A real life pirate ship. <gasps> a pirate. Can you do I, I only have one, one hand. <laughs> ship. Ship. Good job. A real life pirate ship. At last, I'll bid my throne adieu. Bee laughed and climbed on board. She called out, Yo ho ho, you who? Ahoy there, pirate horde. So she sees a ship, and what does she do? Climbs right on, of course, because she's ready to be a pirate. Sounds like me. Sounds like me. Yep. Yes. The swarthy crew turned at the sound. They spied her on the deck. Avast, they cried. They stared and frowned, then grabbed her by the neck. The captain, Jack, glared. Look at her, he barked. Why ye here? Be curtsied, then asked. Please, kind sir, make me a buccaneer. So B wants to be a pirate. So she asked Captain Jack to help her become a pirate. The crew began to snort and swear. Lass, get to work, Jack roared. If ye don't earn your keep, take care. We'll toss ye overboard. He added, ye will help us sail. I'll do it all, B touted. Jack handed her a mop and pail. Go swab the deck, he shouted. Can everyone still hear me okay? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Good. <laughs> it wasn't her dream pirate job. This mop is gross, said B. Her shoulders throbbed and yet B sobbed. A pirate's life for me. So see, she still really wants to be a pirate. Soon Weary B stopped for a break but left the bucket out, oh, which proved to be a big mistake when Jack tripped with a shout. <gasps> Uh-oh. The suds dripped down from Jack's dark beard. The crew began to smirk. B shrugged. Jack glared. She volunteered. I'll do some other work. You'll be cooking, wench, Jack cried. So get down to the galley. Aye, aye, Captain, B replied. I will not dilly-dally. So, uh-oh, she left her bucket out, and Captain Jack tripped on it. So now he's going to make her go do another job. So B prepared a stew in haste. She chopped and stirred and cooked. She was quite sure of its great taste, despite the way it looked. So what did she add to her stew? There was some squid tentacles. Some stinky fish, ew. Some salt, some more salt, an old boot, some root beer, some dried up lemons, some moldy potatoes, and even more salt, right? Even more salt, yes. So, Yeah, so pretty salty, huh? The captain took a hearty bite. The mates and swabs did too. They chewed and munched and then went white, <coughs> spit out their food, patoo! So it sounds like it didn't taste very good, huh? Too much salt? Too, maybe too much salt. You know, the dried lemons <laughs> are kind of iffy, salt. but maybe a, maybe a little too much salt. Yeah, the boot was a little off taste, right? But yeah. she tried. Jack roared, climb the crow's nest, B. You can do no harm from there, he added. Keep watch on the sea, but fail, and R beware. Another chance, cried B. Oh, yes, I'll do it right, you'll see. B climbed as the wind blew through her dress. A pirate's life for me. See, so she's climbing up to the crow's nest. She's still very excited to be a pirate. What do we think's going to happen, though? She might fall, okay. Ooh. Ooh, here we go. <laughs> the crow's nest swayed with every gust, a gentle rocking motion. We clutched the mast and then she just heave hoed into the ocean. Ooh. The captain yelled, Disgusting! Yuck! He ordered, Come down now! You've spoiled the food, you've wrecked the deck. 
We're soiled from your stern to pro. B, B had to let something out. <laughs> Our pirate ship is truly fouled. We have but ye to think. The captain's face grew dark. He growled. It's time you walk the plank. <gasps> Uh-oh. Then B was circled by the crew, their swords aimed at her neck. They dragged her past the nasty stew, across the unswabbed deck. Oh no, they're getting her ready to walk the plank. The captain shouted, say your prayers, but did as she was told. She stepped, then stopped, and sniffed the air. I think I'm smelling gold. The captain asked her, are you sure? He glowered in displeasure, but B just smiled back, sweet and pure. A princess knows her treasure. Ooh, treasure. Oh. Treasure, treasure. Yes, nice. They sailed off toward the lonely shore, their waters crystal clear. B picked a spot, then turned and roared, Heave to! Drop anchor here! So B found some treasure, it sounds like. The crew fought through the leafy trees, then pushed back vines and twigs. At last, B dropped down to her knees and said, Me mates, let's dig! So look, they're starting to dig now because B thinks she found some treasure. Do we think she did? Yeah. Yeah? You think so? Okay, let's see. The crew cried, Ay! at B's command. The men rolled up their sleeves. They excavated dirt and sand and rocks and roots and leaves. They tilled and toiled the whole day through. The sun set in the west. B checked the hole and shouted, Ooh, we found a treasure chest. <gasps> treasure, good job. The captain cried, Why blow me down? He gaped at all the loot, the gold doubloons, the ruby crowns, and diamond rings to boot. Ye are a pirate, Jack declared. Ye have a nose for treasure. Be stood up tall with shorter squared. She beamed. Sir, it's my pleasure. So B found all the treasure. Look at that. Treasure. They've got rubies and diamonds and lots of gold doubloons. Okay. The pirates learned to love B, though the last still couldn't cook. Her swab the deck skills did not grow. The crew learned not to look. The pirates followed B's, B's keen nose across the seven seas. Each day they hollered, we all knows this pirate's life for B. So B got to become a pirate. Yay! Yay! And then they sailed off happily into the seven seas on search for treasure. So, yay, that's it. That's Pirate Princess. Okay, woo. That was fun. Thank you, yeah. Hello. Hello. Oh, wait, sorry. Ahoy, ahoy, our pirates. Yes. Swab the deck, you land lovers. Or... I'm really good at being a pirate. <laughs> Look at my rings. Ooh, oh. I got some treasure. Miss Kelly. Yes. I think I got that beat. Ooh, that's very pretty. Where'd you find that? In the treasure chest In a tr on the ship. Uh, treasure. You took it from the treasure chest of the ship? Is that a problem? But... I think I need to get it resized. Yeah, I think that's that's really how probably. big it fits. It's really <laughs> heavy too. <laughs> Very nice jewel. Well, we have some um, beautiful jewels on our fingers. I have some moment, you know. I got got the the pirate hoop earrings, right? Mm -hmm. And we have a craft to do. What are we making for a craft today, Miss Barb? Scallywag flag. Ooh, a scallywag flag. Very nice. How do we yes. make such flag? But wait. But wait, there's more. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this, um, the pirates have their own type of flag. Mm -hmm. It's called the Jolly Roger. Oh, okay. That's cool. Why is it called a Jolly Roger? Well, yeah. 
they're pirates, and that's what they chose for me. <laughs> And nobody says no to a pirate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Very historically accurate. How do we make this scallywag fly? Okay. Miss Kelly, we are using our mm -hmm. craft sticks. Oh, I love craft sticks. So here, hold. Yay. Mm -hmm. So we've got the jumbo one for the pole. I have five of the smaller sticks okay they're they're a little bigger than your normal like popsicle stick craft stick just because i i saw them at the store and that's what i chose to use okay there we go <laughs> but you could totally just use your regular regular craft sticks you would though probably want to use um oh six or seven instead of five. five because they're much narrower understood okay all right we have markers okay um and we have our glue and you're going to need just a tad a tad bit of glue so i just put a little bit in this little plastic cup and i've got one of my other craft sticks that i'm using for like a, a knife awesome to put my glue on okay so we start gluing first right no ma'am oh okay. no ma'am we start coloring first coloring so yeah these um you you could use paints or you know, we're using markers just because it's a quicker, quicker way to go. But do you see how um, we've colored not solid? It's just kind of very light and it just looks, looks weathered. Weathered. That's a great word. So that weathered. just means that it looks old and worn. Worn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So I, that's the artistic style that I'll be going for as I... Yes. Pre recreate this craft. Okay. Oh, also, guys, I went ahead and put a piece of um, construction paper on top of the table just so you're not going to color or glue onto the table. That is a good idea. <laughs> Thank would you, you Would you like me to help you color? Color. Okay. Blue. Yes. Put can some... I can I do blue stripes? Yes. I will just color the stick, and I'm just okay. going to use brown. Okay. I'm going to. Okay. So we have to do the, the. This is me trying to do the weathered effect. Here we go. Yep. Yeah, just yeah. Use the side of the pen like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's. Just from my... And you're just... So you're not like... You're not like... Right. right. You're just <laughs> yeah. doing... Just... Technical terms. <laughs> <laughs> very fun, very fun. Oh, yes. I see what you're saying. Weathered. Yes. There we go. Instead of solid, it's weathered. Okay. And do I want it to be striped. So I only really want to do three... Yeah, just choose which color blues. you want um, prominent. Okay, I love blue, so I'm choosing blue today. But your flag that you have matches my outfit way better. Well, that's just the tip, the um, normal Jolly Roger. <laughs> oh yeah? Like flag colors are, are, have been red and black. Okay. Probably a lot easier to see like when you're in the sea. Like a blue flag would be maybe oh. a bad idea in the middle of the water which is also blue that's true that's true i just thought of that so see the brown looks like a plank oh what the plank Arr. that's actually pretty scary i know wouldn't that be wouldn't that be something of been a pirate back in the day yeah um probably probably a little bit different than how we picture it uh nowadays but <laughs> You but it's fun to, to play. It's fun to play pretend. I think you have to wonder if if uh, being a real pirate is just like how it how it's been portrayed in movies and I doubt it. Such because like I don't know what's a pirate movie. Pirates of the pirates Caribbean. Pirates of the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have a lot of magic there. I'm not going to say that magic doesn't exist, but I'm also probably going to suggest that magic didn't happen with the pirates. But it's a fun story, and it's fun to to play around with and. Obviously, we like stories here at Reading Time, so mm -hmm. that's very up our alley, or very up our uh, plank, very up the, the up the, 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 the main, the mast, up the mast. Yes, where you'd find a scallywake flag flying yeah. around. Right. Uh, Miss Callie is not very good at puns. That is Mr. Aaron's job here at Reading Time. Anyways, okay, so we have our things colored. What next? Glue. Glue. Okay. Okay. So I need to arrange these in a striped. Yep. So you want to start with your your um, one that has about three. Okay. And 
pretty much you're just going to um, this one happened to have this big jewel at the top okay um, so I started it down down a little bit so I want to probably start like right here mm -hmm. okay and then and then you just yeah you grab your your uh, little dabber and Put you right can here. either put it on the back of the the stripe or on the pole part itself. Okay. Put it right there. Give it some good squishes. Squish, squish, squish. Okay. It's probably good glue because it's, you know, it's wood, so it's getting all soaked in. Right. Yeah, the glue sticks wouldn't work for this one. You gotta, because you've gotta have a little more oomph. Oomph behind it. Exactly. Right. Very fun, very fun. Glue, glue, I glue. like your color combination. Thank you. Yeah, I like um, I like being unique. So even though this is probably not a historically accurate flag, it is my flag and it's very yeah. pretty. Yeah. Okay, two more stripes. Here we go. Dab, dab, dab. That's a little bit much. Whoop. Okay. Um, but it'll stick. <laughs> probably it'll help stick them to together a little bit too, right? I don't know. We'll find out. All right, you have just enough glue here. Do I have just enough? Yeah. yeah, that's why I kind of showed you guys with the cup. You don't need to, you don't need a, a huge, a glob. Pile, a glob of glue. You just really need a little bit. And you can always add more. If, um, True. Okay, so I'm just pressing it down. Yeah, you're going to want to keep, give that as much pressure as you can. It'll take a, a few minutes to to dry so you won't be able to you know pick it up right away right well you have a little jewel at the top of yours so i brought my own little blinging bling blings you know pirates mm -hmm. like they're bling obviously so i'm gonna put i'm gonna put some bling on mine probably yes. put, i'll put some at let's see i'll put some oh i can do a lot of things with this i'm just gonna kind of put them at random places these have little sticky backs so that's it's pretty good yeah, for me those are easy you could you know these are really really pretty you could use um stars too Ooh, like if you stars. had some gold foil stars um you also could find stickers if there maybe is a uh they call it a skull and crossbone design mm -hmm. if you you guys probably know have seen it before oh yeah classic classic pirate okay down. And then I have this little heart one. I'm gonna put it here at the top, like yours. Bling! Very blingy. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You probably could lift it, but you don't want to be wag wagging oh, it yeah. around. Okay, I gotta let it dry. But there it is. It's done. Yep. Or I'll let y'all see on this one. Da -da 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 -da. Yep. And so the flag. the under the under paper helps keep the glue up too, right. so it doesn't stick to your table. Awesome. Well, that's a cool that's, craft. It's a very simple craft today, but it's very pirate. -ish. Simple, but effective. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for showing us the scallywag flag, Miss Barb. Indeed, it was fun. Are you ready for our next book? Yes. Let's, let's, let's listen to the next book. See you there. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Well, Mr. Dixon, we ready for another story? I think so. You think so? Talking about the pirate princess getting seasick up there reminds me of another little pirate that also got seasick. Yeah, ooh, it's oh. making me a little nauseous. It makes me so nauseous. Uh-oh. Hey, Especially well. when we do ship and it's bowing up and down. Like, oh. Ooh. There we go. <laughs> so our next story is called Sammy the Seasick Pirate by Janelle Springer Wilms and illustrated by Damian Jones. Sammy wanted nothing more in the world than to be a pirate captain when he grew up, just like his papa. Hey, look, we got matching hats. Very nice. So he made a list of all things pirates do. He would learn to do them too. Papa taught him how. Well, kind of. 
Papa threw Sammy off the pier and shouted, swim lad, swim. Pirates can swim. Luckily, Sammy was born to swim and made it safely to shore. Oh my goodness, that's terrifying. Being thrown into the water. Oh no. Oh, oh my gosh. Nice. Oh, I think <laughs> Here, we can take that if you don't want it. Well, thank you. Perfect. Oh! <gasps> you lost me treasure. <laughs> Feather in my own cap. <laughs> Feather in your treasure. Hmm. Pirates use swords. Sammy found a bow and arrow with the swords in the, sh in the shed. This is so much cooler than a sword. Papa taught him how to aim and shoot. Sammy got so good that he shot apples off the kitchen table from 10 paces away. Sammy, yelled Mama, clean up this mess. Oh my goodness, he made a huge mess. When he was done mopping, Sammy checked off. Pirates swab the deck, and then pirates dig for gold. There be two coins in the yard hidden under a tree. Papa told him, when you find them, it's ice cream for you and ice cream for me. Sammy dug holes all over the yard, wide ones, thin ones, deep ones, and shallow ones. Sammy, yelled Mama when she fell into one accidentally. Oh no, poor Mama, she's getting beat up. He refilled the holes as fast as he could and ticked off pirates cover their tracks and pirates hide their treasure wait wait did he get the ice cream i don't think so so i know that's my treasure <laughs> ice cream i love ice cream <laughs> sammy gave papa the map he drew there's a treasure in the house x marks the spot sammy shouted papa when he found it Quick, lad, get the brush and some water. Ye be in trouble if your mama sees this. They worked hard to scrub the crayon X off of the floor. Then Sammy ticked off. Pirates work together with their crew. Pirates can sail? Ooh, listen up, me hearties. Sammy be joining us today. Teach him all you know. He'll be part of the crew someday, announced Papa. Aye, aye, Captain. Sammy helped to hoist the sails, he plugged holes, he read a map, he even helped steer the ship. Everything was going well until <laughs> the sky grayed, the winds blew strongly, and the sea got choppy. Rumble went Sammy's tummy. With a bump over the next wave, hit tummy and swish and slosh and... Sammy threw up. I think the sea is mostly made of throw up from seasick pirates. Oof. That's why it's no. so salty. Oh, I thought it was because the sea has an attitude problem. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Sammy, ye be seasick. Climb up into the crow's nest and look at the horizon, said Papa. Sammy did as he told. It's working, he called down. But then the wind changed and the ship rocked. Sammy's tummy rumbled and tumbled and it went swish, then slosh, then bleh. Sammy threw up all over the crew. Arr! They shrieked, turn the ship around, commanded Papa. Oh. Oh, maybe they did get ice cream. Look at that. Oh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? I'm good. <laughs> Later that evening, Papa found Sammy sitting in the darkness in his favorite grove of coconut trees. Sammy, you tried your best, he said, hanging some lanterns in the trees. He can't help the seasickness. Look at all the things you learned. I'm proud of you, lad. Papa's words didn't cheer up Sammy. I'll never be a pirate if I can't sail. Oh, he's sad. 
That night, a loud crash woke him up. He looked outside. Everything was dark except for the coconut patch with the hanging lanterns. Check it out in the morning, thought Sammy. At sunrise, Sammy ran down to the beach. There, he saw something shining in the sand. It was a gold coin. A few steps away, he found another coin, then another. The beach was full of coins. He looked up and saw a wrecked ship stuck on the reef, and the idea hit him. Sammy ran home with the coins jingling in his pocket. Papa, I've got it, shouted Sammy. I'm going to hunt for gold on land and loot the shipwrecks. Yo ho ho, me boy's a genius, Papa said, throwing him in the air. He be a land pirate then. <laughs> that very same day, Sammy started a new list. The captain of the land pirates must have a crew of pilot, pirates that can't go to sea, a lookout, a place to hide the gold, and shipwrecks to loot. Now, how can I wreck a ship? He asked himself. Ooh. Yo ho ho, I've got an idea, grinned Sammy. The end. Oh, cliffhanger. Cliffhanger. Wow. We'll have to find Sammy the Seasick Pirate Part 2. Part 2. <laughs> part two. Well, his, his idea is to crash the, the ships. And then I crash the ships and move for gold. <laughs> All right. Awesome. I like that he figured out his own goals. <laughs> there you go. Work yeah. with what you got. There you go. Oh, thank you for reading with me. Yes, thank you. Uh, You're welcome. <laughs> that chair is low. <laughs> what was that? And now we have the beautiful Captain Callie. Yeah, we're all Woo! Captain too. All right. I love those stories. I liked them a lot. Uh, ooh, I did the same thing. Um, <laughs> I like pirates. Yeah. Both Sammy and the Pirate Princess, they had situations where they wanted to be pirates but weren't very good at it but they found their own way to be pirates. And I think that that's a very interesting lesson to learn. And I have a song that's kind of about it. I don't have the music for it, so I don't know why I'm moving my stand for it. It's fine, it's in my head. This is a song called, thank you. Uh, Believe in yourself, here we go. Yeah. Oh, you can be what you wanna be. See what you wanna see, believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Go where you want to go. Do what you want to do. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Folks may try and tell you there are things you shouldn't do. You're not strong enough or smart enough at all. But what seems right to them quite often might be wrong for you. So be sure you try to climb before you get too scared to follow. You can be where you want to be. Learn what you want to learn. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Try what you need to try. No one should question why. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Folks may say you're different, that you've gone and lost your senses, but the world is yours to walk in. Go ahead and leap the fences and you'll see. Believe in yourself, and the world belongs to you and me. Oh, you can be what you want to be, learn what you want to learn. Believe in yourself, believe in yourself. Try what you need to try. No one should question why. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Folks may say you're different, that you've gone and lost your senses, but the world is yours to walk in. Go ahead and leap the fences and you'll see. Believe in yourself. And the world belongs to you and me. There you go. There's no, 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 for the for, for the red thing. It's just music, 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 music. That was a song from Sesame Street. I can't take.
credit for it. <laughs> but thank you so much for coming to our pirates. Arr! And that's the end of the We don't have anything more for you. We didn't bring you any gifts or any. No, anything. not at all. Are not at all. Oh. Mr. Dixon. <laughs> yes. Do you maybe have. Do I, do I have to share? I think it would be a nice if you, I know you're a pirate and all, but. Pirates usually don't share their treasure. Can you show me treasure? Treasure. Treasure. But I got Ooh. some treasure for you guys Whoa. today. Okay, and Miss so Barb even has some treasure for you too. Yeah, it's chocolate. So if you're not allowed to have chocolate, don't take it. There's milk. Oh, yeah. So yeah. Like, there you go. You guys can go ahead and take it. Your mom can't have chocolate. Come get some chocolate coins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some yeah, some booty. Yeah, you're allowed to have chocolate. Perfect. And then Miss Barb has a pirate hat for you. We'll just take a couple. Don't forget your flag. Yeah, remember your flag as well. Oh, yes. And let's not forget your scallywag flag. Yeah.